Can you hear me? Okay. Uh, my name's Adam. It's great to be here tonight for all your amusement and entertainment. Uh, what I've got to admit to, I've been really nervous about doing this. Uh, in fact, I've not been that nervous since I was waiting for my dad to ring me back once when I left a message to say that my car had been stolen. I know what you're thinking, why are you nervous? You're a victim of crime. The problem was, I was going to have to explain that it had been driven off from a petrol station because I'd left the keys in the ignition when I got to there. <laughs> and I've been told since it's the closest I've ever come to being disowned. <laughs> but there's a moral to this story, and it's nothing to do with the fact that you should leave your keys in the car when, it, when you go and pay. The fact is, what you shouldn't do is, when you're watching it drive off the forecourt, is kick the side of it. <laughs> <laughs> because the police later recovered my car with no damage apart from a size 12 dim in the side door, which is kind of embarrassing, you don't look very clever. Anyway, who's on Facebook? <laughs> Quite a few, probably a few more in denial about the fact. I'm willing to guess, like Facebook is everywhere. There's over a billion people using it. That's like more than class A drugs. <laughs> and I'm willing to bet that probably two thirds of the people in this room are linked on Facebook by one or two steps. I reckon that's because we've all got a friend on there that I like to refer to as the Facebook don, the Jedi, the one who knows everything. You know the ones. They tag themselves in at Asda. <laughs> They're thousands of friends, but really, really good statuses on there, like. The washing machine's on. <laughs> Followed by, the washing machine's just finished. <laughs> Who needs to know that? And they're like a, a listening post for the whole community. What they do is, they send out messages that keep you informed of current affairs. You know, what day of the week it is, <coughs> and what the weather's like. <laughs> now recently, a few of my friends have said, I'm coming up my Facebook. I'm friends with people I don't know. <laughs> Let's just think about that. Unless there's some kind of Facebook ninjas that can get on your friend list without you knowing, then they've either accepted that friend request or sent it out. But if they left it, they wouldn't stay off for long. It's a bit like the modern day running away coming off Facebook. Bit of attention, you know, soon back. <laughs> I'm guessing they'll be back as soon as they've got all five lives back on Candy Crush. <laughs> Now, for some people, how many friends they've got on Facebook, it's like the be all and end all. The question beyond Facebook is soon followed by, how many friends have you got? Normally pretty, you know, pretty smuggled by people who've got quite a few. I know this one guy, he's friends with Jesus on Facebook. <laughs> now, this means he's either sent a Facebook request to, or accepted a Facebook request from Jesus. And I really cannot decide which one's weirder. <laughs> Now let's think, if Jesus had Facebook, right, he could have used it for a great many things. You know, spread his word, got more followers, lots of things like that. But I don't think he'd have done that. If he'd have been a true Facebooker, he'd have tagged himself in at the Last Supper. <laughs> he'd have a picture of what he was having to eat. <laughs> and soon afterwards, 12 of his friends would have liked it. <laughs> Once you put something on social media like Facebook, it's out there for the world to see. Spelling mistakes can be horrendous. Once I was sorting out the back garden and I had a problem. So I put on there, can anyone help me out? I've got a lot of slugs in the back garden. <laughs> slugs. <laughs> when I got in, I had 22 likes and 14 people wanting to know where I live. <laughs> The only thing works is that the spelling checker on my phone has obviously got me lying under some kind of pervert. <laughs> I had a friend request in the week. It was from a guy I hadn't seen since school. Now, if I'm being honest, all they did at school was take the piss out of me. Make me look stupid in front of all my mates. You know, everyone picks on the fact. Leave oh. <laughs> <Leave it. laughs> And in fact, he even showed me, the, he showed me in the river once when I was on the year nine school trip. No, but I thought, no, it's all in the past, and he sent me the request, so I accepted. Mainly so I could go and tell him to be a shit job if your teacher he was. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing you notice on Facebook is everyone's got a friend that likes everything. <laughs> Let's call this guy John. <laughs> now, you've probably not seen him since you were 12 and you had a sleepover at his mum's house. You'd pass him in the street without, you know, taking a second glance. In fact, the only thing that links you is the fact that once every 12 months you wish happy, each other happy birthday on Facebook. But nevertheless, he'll like everything. 
growing an audience for that. Looking forward to it. John likes this. Fair enough. <laughs> Chicken and chips for tea. Nom nom. <laughs> John likes this. Bit weird. Corrected the cat this morning. John likes this. Now, that's just wrong. That is very, very wrong. What I think most Facebook has brought us is it pushes people to promote things, especially when they've got a picture of an animal on them. You ever seen these? A picture of a dog with a caption, a thousand likes will save Rex's life. <laughs> really? <laughs> so there's, there's a vet with a dog on a table. <laughs> Come on board with this. And he's, he's about to like, make operating surgery on this dog. The nurse bursts in with a laptop. <laughs> Only 950 nights for that. <laughs> oh. So the vet turns back around to the nurse and he'll say, Well, you bag him and tag him then, and I'll go and tell the family that Facebook's called the dog. Thank you. You've been good.